Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here on today's review for you. This time, it's official. Official is a 6.4% New England style IPA from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. To my draft therapists out there, is, is that a thing? I mentioned in a live stream a while back that my most anticipated beer right now is this, Bell's Official New England Style IPA. The reason I say that is I'm just, I'm really curious on a number of different levels to see how Bell's is gonna do this thing. New England Style IPAs have been obviously very popular the last two years and I've tried a bunch. I know what I like, I know what I don't like about them, and I always like to see how breweries with you know wider distribution handle the whole drink fresh aspect that's especially important with New England style IPAs. Now distribution at this point shouldn't really be an issue. I mean, you can get a package from China in two days. It shouldn't be too crazy to think that you can get a beer in 40 different states in a couple weeks, right? But New England seem to have more of a bespoke or a craft element to them than other beers if hopefully that makes sense. So what I wanted to do with this review is to do something just a little bit different. I want to put official through its paces on its own, and then I have a couple uh, widely or, or maybe nationally distributed New England style IPAs that I was able to kind of wrangle together in a little bit of a short notice, and I wanted to put on a little bit of an unscientific test. So you can watch for this review, watch the whole thing, and if you want to stick around for the comparison, I'll do that after the review. So we'll do that thing where we took a, take a look at the label, and then we'll let the games begin. Fun fact, the difference between fog and haze is that fog is suspension of water droplets and haze is made of extremely small and dry airborne particles. So if we take a look at the can here, uh, it has official on the front, Bell's official, officials in kind of like this baseball style font, and it says hazy India pale ale. They don't go so far as to say in New England, but we know that they're talking this is a New England style IPA. It says pungent American hops combined with wheat and Pilsen malt result in a smooth, aromatic, juicy IPA. And then on the side, it says canned and brewed by Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. 6.4% uh, alcohol by volume. Shelf life, six months. Now, most New England styles you want to drink, you know, sooner than six months, probably three months is that sweet spot. After three months, everything kind of starts to drop off. And to say that, the, that this is their first New England style IPA is a little bit of a misnomer because they did their side yard, which was like a harvest New England style IPA. And then a couple, uh, I think summer of 2017, they did Titania, which was a New England style wheat ale, which I also did a review on. Uh, you can click up in the corner over here. I'll have it linked in, in the comments down below for both of those beers. So let's go ahead and crack this open. The date on this, by the way, is uh, February 7th, 2019. It is Today is the 17th that I'm recording this. I picked this up on Thursday, the on Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And we'll get a nose out of the can. The can itself is actually not a normal kind of silver color. It's more of like a goldish color, which is kind of cool. It kind of goes with the whole label, this kind of off-white coloration. Let's put a nose on it, though, out of the can. Wow. Not getting a whole lot of smell just out of the can. Really faint kind of crackery kind of smell. So let's go ahead and pour this into my Bell's Tulip here. Get a little aggressive on the pour. And it came out kind of a, a golden kind of color. And in the glass, it's nice and yellow. It's got a nice about maybe two fingers worth of head. Uh, yeah, about all, close to two fingers. It's got a really nice yellow kind of color to it. I don't see a lot of carbonation streaming up or anything, but the head's kind of retained pretty well. It's not dissipating. It's a little bit off-white, a little almost yellowish. And it is hazy. I mean, it's, I can't see any detail. I can see shadow through the glass. Let's put a better nose on it here. Okay, I am getting a little bit of a citrus aroma, a little bit of a fruity kind of scent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm ready to dive right in. Like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this, so cheers. got a little bit more of a lemony kind of flavor than I was expecting. I was expecting it maybe to be a little bit more orangey, a little bit more juicy, but this has a little bit more of that lemon kind of taste.
just got a really kind of subdued taste. It's got this kind of um, sweet aftertaste, a little bit of a sweetness on the aftertaste. Yeah, so I'm not blown away. Let's put it that way. Um, it's kind of just a run-of-the-mill New England style IPA. I know that they, you know, they probably been it's Bell's, right? So they have the the availability of the option to do several different um, versions of this before they can kind of get it to where they want it to be. Let's talk about the beer though. So on the when you draw it in your mouth, there's this kind of lemony, citrusy quality to it, a little bit sweeter than lemon. It's not sour, it's not bitter. kind of roll it around on, on your tongue and it's, it kind of thins out really quickly. The mouth feels a little bit on the lighter side, uh, but it thins out, the taste thins out very quickly. There's not a lot of, uh, it's very muted, very subtle bitterness. There's not a whole lot of bitterness to speak of. There's almost like this kind of, I don't know, kind of biscuity, crackery kind of taste to it on the tail end, which I wasn't really expecting. Would this be my go-to New England style? No. Um, is it going to be easier to get than like an M43? It might be. I mean, M43 is kind of all over the place. Now, if I had to pick, M43 is like the top, it's the top of the ladder for me as far as New England style IPAs go, especially in Michigan. I've had some outside of from outside of the state, and I like some of those. But I would say that as far as um, in the state of Michigan, M43 is right at the top. Uh, official here would be... It's not like an entry level New England style that I've had at some breweries or some that I've had at beer fest, especially the first year New England's really kind of blew up. There were a lot of entry level kind of New England style IPAs that didn't taste like any of the ones we taste now. They tasted a little bit uh, a little greener. This obviously it tastes like it doesn't taste green. It doesn't taste like it's super new, like it didn't have any kind of aging at all. Um, it doesn't taste like it's too early. It just doesn't have a whole lot of bursting flavor. It's just kind of ho-hum. Um, so it's not my go-to. If I saw it on the shelf, um, would I pick it up? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm being a little bit harsher than usual than I usually am on these beers because I just expected more from it. Um, especially that side yard IPA that I had that was, like I said, it's more like a harvest ale New England style. I like that a lot better than I like this. Uh, and those were fresher hops. It was kind of a little bit of a more limited run. It's not bad, but it wouldn't be my go-to. And would it be one that I would try over and over and over again? If M43 was on the shelf, I'd pick M43 in a heartbeat. So with all that being said, I'm going to bring out, this is the end of my actual review piece of it. Let me get one more taste. I do like the sweetness on the end. I have to say that there's this kind of like a bitter tangerine, sweet and bitter tangerine flavor on the tail. I do kind of like that piece of it. I just wish it was, I wish there was more. I wish there was more juiciness, more flavor, just more everything. 6.4%, um, is that what I said this was? It's not nothing, right? But I think M43, I don't know the ABV off the top of my head of that. I think it's higher. But there's just so much more flavor there. And I know that everything shouldn't be M43, but I feel like this is a little bit more of an easy drinking uh, New England style. I think it's like borderline New England style. It's hazy. They're not calling it New England style, remember. But I think that it's kind of, again, I'd go with an M43 over this. So what I'm going to do is I'm bringing out some beers that I could find that are a little bit more widely distributed. I This is so, let me go into what I have. So I have official here. I have uh, BrewDog Hazy Jane. I have never had a BrewDog beer before, just to put that out there. This is Deschutes uh, Fresh Haze IPA. And then I have New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger ha uh, Juicy Haze IPA. I have had this before. This is probably my favorite widely distributed New England style IPA. I had this uh, last April and it, it blew by, it blew the doors off. Like I did not expect something like that to be that good. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to pour these. I'm not going to do the smell test. I'm not, I'm just going to compare it to the, to, um, Bell's official. Again, this is going to be widely distributed. It's not a Michigan only thing. It's not a general store, a Bell's general store only thing. So I'm going to try these out too. The only thing right now that I can say is not an even playing field for Bells with these other beers is these aren't especially fresh. So I don't know if these are necessarily in season. 
I had a pretty hard time going someplace where I could find individual beers like this. I'm going to put the beer in front of the can or the, the glass or the receptacle, whatever it came in. So let's, this is going to be the shoots fresh haze. Is that what this is called? So let's just, the brew dog, this is 7.2%. Hazy Jane is 7.2%. The uh, fresh haze is 6.5%. So it's the most comparable ABV wise to official. And that is, that's a little bit more darker. That's more of a kind of a juicy looking beer. And then I have my handy dandy bottle opener for this new Belgium. And I'm gonna pour that one now here. All right, so Bell's official. Uh, Hazy Jane, which the head just totally died on. I have Fresh Haze, which still has a kicking head, and I have Voodoo Ranger uh, Juicy Haze IPA. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna set these cans kind of over a little bit. Hazy Jane, Fresh Haze from Deschutes, and um, Juicy Haze IPA. I can't ever remember what that's called. So let's go down the line. Official. Totally unscientific test here. So now I know what that tastes like. Let's go with this Hazy Jane, which admittedly is a little older. It, it just smells sweeter. It smells more orangey. That has a heck of a lot more flavor. Of course, again, it's 7.5%, 7.2%, sorry. So it has, a, it has more bursting flavor. I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is older, but I already like the taste of this better because there is more taste. But again, it's a little bit higher ABV. Let's go with the Deschutes, which I spilled a little bit on. This is a 6.5%. It's 0.1. It's a tenth of a percent higher ABV and blows the doors off of official taste-wise. It's got a little bit more of an orangey flavor to it. It's more what I would kind of expect in a New England style or a hazy IPA. And then this is Voodoo Ranger. It's, a, it's got the consistency, the mouthfeel that I like, the little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, a little bit more pillowy or cloudy, um, kind of soft mouthfeel that I, I like to see in IPAs or New England style IPAs, that is. It's got a little bit more of a um, kind of an orange peel zestiness on the tail end, on the, on the swallow, on the aftertaste. So yeah, so let's start official. I'm just gonna take one more taste of all of these, maybe one in between here. Just really light. In the, in the shadow of these other beers, again, they're nationally distributed, that they, they have been shipped from all over the country. The Schutz is in Colorado, I think, New Belgium. Uh, and th what was the percent on this? This is 7.5%. Again, a lot higher ABV or almost a 1% higher. Uh, New Belgium, I never can remember where they're from. This says uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. Either one, That's they're not close to Michigan, right? Fresh Haze is the only one that's close ABV wise. So let's do the official one more taste. Again, it's got that citrus quality, but it's very light. It's very thin on taste. Hazy Jane is a little bit admittedly older. It's got a little bit more of a kind of a malty kind of bite on the tail end, and that might be because of the age, but it's got a lot more flavor. Uh, fresh Haze. Really close ABV, but it's got more orangey kind of, uh, uh, just a brighter kind of, the, the taste just pops out more than official does and Voodoo Ranger, Haze, Juicy Haze IPA. Again, a full percent over, but just so much more flavor. So 
I just, you know, if Bell's wants to compete on the hazy, let's not even say New England, if they want to compete on the hazy IPA side, and this fresh haze isn't even that hazy, um, but if they want to compete with these other national uh, brands uh, or, or widely distributed brands, they really need to up their game. The official, again, I'm not usually this harsh on beer, but because especially local beer, I like to kind of promote local beer. That's what this whole channel is about. But if they want to compete with the, the other national brands or the widely distributed brands, they really need to up their game. If they want to compete in the state with other brands, they can't just ride the Bell's name and, and put out a, a hazy IPA or a juicy IPA or whatever they want to call this. They call it both on here. They don't call it New England, but they call it a juicy or a hazy, depending on where you read it on their can. They really need to up their game. Uh, they, they might need to go back to the drawing board if they want to compete. Um, but again, if we go back to the review, if I was picking a Michigan New England style IPA, this would not be my first choice and it probably wouldn't be my second or my third or my fourth. I think there's a lot of other beers out there that I would go to first before I would spend money on Bell's official hazy IPA. And again, I was really looking forward to it. So needless to say, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in it, all things considered. All right, friends, that has been Bell's official New England style IPA. Have you had this beer? If so, what did you think? What are some beers that you're looking forward to trying that are coming out soon? How do you think this compares to other New England style IPAs that you've had? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like Michigan beer, you might want to click that little subscribe button below this video because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week. I'm sure I'll talk about one or two that you're interested in. Uh, let me take the bullet for you. You don't have to bite the bullet. I'll bite it for you. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.